Aye. Hello. Better luck with your shoes off. <laughs> you waiting to see me? Okay, who are you? I'm Pete, Pete Morgan, the manager. Good, can you manage me a room in a hotel? I'm tired. Well, uh, it's kind of tough. But uh, I have a little place upstairs while you're waiting, if you're tired. What'd you say your name was? Pete. It's a tricky name. Pete what? Morgan. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd be very happy if you'd just get Jeffty for me. Oh, well, Jeffty's a little busy right now. I usually, uh, handle the details. Is that so? Well, I'm Lil Stevens, new entertainer from Chicago. Right now, I'd like to sleep. Oh, the new equipment. What do you do to entertain? Oh, didn't Jeffy tell you? No, but I can guess I know Jeffy. Isn't this small stuff for a good performer? Not of the money I'm getting. Small talent, small pickings. Well, I got a small voice. Besides, who said I was good? What did he promise to pay you? Too much. About twice what I usually get. How much is that? You son of a gun. I wanted to surprise you. You did. You surprised me. I did? Well, what do you think of Lily? Was I smart to get her? Very smart. Come on, Jeff T. How about that hotel? In a minute, honey. She'll be a knockout in the bar, won't she? Oh, sure. I'll get you a place. But first, uh, have a drink. Meet the help. I kept the bar open for you. Okay, I could do with a little cooking, Sherry. Come on, Pete. Let's celebrate. Here it is, honey. And it's all Jeffy's. <laughs> oh, Susie, come here. I want you to meet Lily Stevens, our new entertainer. Hello. Hi. Take her over to Sam and introduce her to the bar. I'll get you a room. Fine. You know, you two are gonna like each other. Yeah, we already have something in common. <clears throat> Same barber. What do you do? Sing? Play the piano? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Miss Lily Stevens, our new attraction from Chicago. Jeffy says give her anything she wants. Always. Always a long time. Glad to know you, Lil. Same here, Sam. What'll it be? Scotch. Soda? Straight. Got a cigarette? Yeah, sure. Well, that's quite a deal you've got here, huh? Yeah, nice punch. Autumn's up. How's Chicago? Okay. Got a nickel? Yeah, sure. Lily Stevens. That's right. She'll be over in a little while. Okay, kid. Thanks. I got Lily a room. Atlas Hotel, room 12, large double, same old room. Oh, now, Pete. Don't you ever learn. But this gal is different. Now, what's the matter with the hometown talent? They're easy to handle. Last year, those entertainers from Kansas City, St. Louis. Remember the trouble? Now, wait. Okay, you're the boss. But don't ask me to dump them when you're tired. Tired? Pete, you don't understand. I can't get anywhere near Lily. How much do we pay her? Two fifty. Two fifty. Now I'm supposed to make this place show a profit. There goes my percentage. But if she don't deliver, yeah, she boy, goes. Boy, she must have been hard to get. How many weeks? Six. But as I said, if she don't deliver, she has to go. Six weeks. Oh, come on now. Stop spoiling my fun. I know I shouldn't mix business with pleasure. That's why I've got you around. Hey, come on. Hey, Jeffy. Yeah. Uh, Miller wants to see you in the pool room. Okay. Now go on inside and get friendly. You made a bad impression. Hey, Art. Let's get Jeffy's station wagon around the front. Uh uh. Gotta cheat a little, Sam. Your troubles are over, Miss Stevens. Gonna be all taken care of. Oh. The antlers? 
Yeah, Antlers Hotel. Nice big room. Antlers? Well, I guess this is a moose trap all around. Moose trap. <laughs> That's good. That's terrific. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. See you later. Good luck. Homer Stevens, uh, I'll see you out front. I'll get your bags. <laughs> hey, Susie, what do you think of this one? She's something, isn't she? If you like the sound of gravel. Uh, tell me, think I'm gonna like this rat trap we're going to? The Antlers? You betcha, it's a swell place. It's got a dining room, plenty of class, everything. And besides that, it's the only hotel in town. That does it. <laughs> Hotel. Took her to the hotel. What for? I don't know. I really don't know. I just work here. Give me a brandy, will you, Sam? Say, she's pretty nice, isn't she? I'll say she is. What are you talking to yourself? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. What happened? Search me, boss. This is something new. Pete being nice to an entertainer. Yeah. What's this? The depot. Yeah, that's where I came in. Yeah, that's where you're going out. Now look, Miss Stevens, let's not kid each other. As I said, it's small pickings in this town. Now here's a couple of hundred bucks and some extra. I think that'll square us for your trouble. Yeah, that's better. You see, every time Jeff leaves town, he gets drunk and brings somebody back. Oh, he does. Does he know you're going to all this trouble? No, but he'll find out it's for the better, and so will you. Supposing I don't want to go. Yeah, but you will. You see, Jeff gets tired easily, and it's up to me to do the dumping. I don't like it, but if I have to, I can get rough. Oh, you can? Huh. Well, this should really buy me off, shouldn't it? I thought you'd be as smart as you were. Listen, when I want to leave, I'll let you know. I came out of here with a contract. I needed the dough. And I'm going to collect every nasty little cent of it, maybe more. Who knows, before I'm through, you might be running for the deep hole. Don't try to borrow two bits from me when you shove off. Now, look, baby, I'm not trying to rush you. Silly boy. Jeffy's new attraction. Not so bad. When's she supposed to give out? Pete says tonight. She reminds me of the first woman that ever slapped my face. If she sings like she looks. But you wouldn't let me wear a dress like that. How's it take tonight, honey? I can use Lily if she's good. She'll be good. Oh, Pete. Look, uh, I want to do this right. Give Lily a break, you know what I mean? Lights out, spotlight. Okay? Give her the works. Okay, good. Folks, uh, I'd uh, like you to meet our new entertainer from Chicago, Miss Lily Stevens. Lily? It's quarter 
two, three. There's no one in the place except you and me. So set him up, Joe. I've got a little story you ought to know. We're drinking, my friend, to the end of a brief episode. Take it one for my baby and one more for the road. I got the routine, so drop another nickel in the machine. I'm feeling so bad, wish you'd make the music dreamy and sad. Could tell you a lot, but you gotta be true to your code. Make it one for my baby and one more for the road. You'd never know it, but buddy, I'm a kind of poet, and I've got a lot of things to say. And when I'm gloomy, you've simply got to listen to me until it's talked away. Well, that's how it goes. And Joe, I know you're getting anxious to close. So thanks for the cheer. Hope you didn't mind my bending your ear. This torch that I found must be drowned, or it soon might explode. Make it one for my baby and one more for the road that long. Oh, that long, long road. Is she good? She does more without a voice than anybody I've ever heard. Honey, you are wonderful, terrific. Oh, you're crazy, you know that? Come on, give him another one, baby. guy is she good she's good and little jeff did it don't forget that she'll be the biggest hit we ever had she'll double our business in the bar well come on admit it i admit it you know what i think i'll do i'll knock out that wall in the back and i'll double the bar oh, wait we'll have the swellest joint west of well, chicago your head, jeff D. oh she's a steal you know i'm beginning to get interested in this business Oh, thanks, Sam. Bad for my voice. You were great. <laughs> Surprised. Well, to tell the truth, I was. Ah, uh, so was I. You're a terrific tonic for lonely people, Sam. Good to talk to him. Yeah. Everybody's lonely. Now, as a guy comes in here every night, takes that stool at the end of the bar. Stevens, you're good. You're a hit. I don't have to tell you they like you. Fine. And you? Best we ever had. Think I'm worth the money? I've got to admit, Gypsy's got the top end of the bargain. Still want to rush me out of time? Hmm? Now, look. I said I made a mistake. I'm sorry. OK. Think nothing of it. Come on, kids. Let's laugh it off. Sam, bring us a special, huh? No, thanks. I got to count up the profits. that guy. He's a great kid. Don't get him wrong. Oh, I don't. Well, who do I get my weekly check from, you or Bashful Joe? Bashful Joe. 
You know, he's not gonna like that. So what? Tell me, Jeff T. What do you do around here between songs? Hmm? Anything you like to do, honey. Just name it. Oh, I don't know. Flops, how about me learning how to bowl? Sure. Who's the coach? Coach? Susie. Uh. Honey, I've got the greatest coach in the world for you. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna love this. You just leave it to Jeff T. <laughs> You're a million laughs, you know that. Again, this couldn't happen again. This is that once in a lifetime. This is the thrill divine. And what's more, this never happened before. Though I have prayed for a lifetime that such as you would suddenly be mine. Mine to hold as I'm holding you now and yet Never so near. Mine to have when the now and the heat disappear. For friendships, this doesn't happen. We'll have this moment forever. So about some feet, you hit them like you mean it. Well, Jeffy's bound to find a singer once in a while. Not bad, not bad at all. Donna, what do I have to do to beat Fred? Fair, anyway. I don't like her. That's the first time I ever interrupted a game for anything. I like it. There's Come still on. no excuse for that dress. What did you say your name is? You see that mob, kid? I told you she'd double our business at the bar. Tell me I didn't make a good deal. Lidger, how are you doing? I can wait. Maybe a long wait. Got nothing else to do. Serious? Maybe. Oh, honey. Pete, got a grand job for you. Lily wants to learn how to bowl. And here's a boy who can teach you. Best bowler in the state. And the best instructor. No, I'm afraid not. Why not? Well, I've got too much work to do. What are you doing now? Keeping the alleys warm. <laughs> Don't bother. So I take up knitting. Wait a minute. Pete, I ask you to teach Lily. For me. I don't ask you much. This is something I want you to do. Now, look. Are that hard to take? I didn't say you were. OK, then it's all settled. I knew you. Any time when you're not busy. Around noon? OK, around noon. Fix her up with a pair of shoes, will you, Pete? And uh, you'll need slacks, something like that. Dress. You kill me. important in bowling, like in everything else. There are three kinds of rolls. A straight roll, you keep the thumb straight. Fascinated? Oh, I was just watching. 
Don't break your glasses. You aim down the right side of the alley toward the center. Watch. You tried. Okay. Well, nothing to it. See what I mean? No, you've got the idea. Now there's the backup ball. The backup ball is thrown to the Brooklyn side of the pin and backs up into the pocket. You get it? Oh, yeah, sure. Great, wasn't it? If you say I've got the idea again, but I you think I'll... you have I'll... got the idea. Now we'll try to throw a curve. That ought to be easy for you. The curve is thrown like a hook. May I ask you a simple question? Yeah, if it's simple. Why don't you stop fighting me? I won't bite. Well, who's fighting? You're fighting the ball. You're overdoing it, that's all. Give me the ball. The kid lives dangerously, doesn't he? You know any other sports? Never mind. Come on, try it again. All right. Only this time, would you mind grabbing me when I throw the ball? I have a knack of going halfway down the alley with it. You should have worn the shoes I got you. How was that? You need a rest, I'll get a drink, some water. Hi, Susie. Hi. Sleep well? Beautifully. And you? After those hamburgers? Straight water so early in the day? Was this what you had to do that was so important? I didn't say it was important. Oh, thanks. Uh, she comes to work early, doesn't she? She's a hard worker. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. She looks tired. This one's going to be a straight ball. Okay, coach. Straight. Straight. I think I get the idea. Good morning, Miss McGinnis. Hello, Jimmy. The only trouble with your cabin, Jeffy, it's too close to Canada. You shoot them and they beat it for the border. And besides, when that fog rolls in from the lake, where are you going? I'm having breakfast upstairs. Wait for me. Maybe she won't think it's so romantic, seven o'clock on a Sunday morning.
Who is it? What are you doing here? Get out. Wait a minute, Lily. Don't get sore. I brought you breakfast. You heard me. I said get out. What do you think? You own this town or something? I don't like people busting in my room. I wasn't sure what you like, so I got the works. Here, smell this coffee. Oh. Mmm, what a way to start the day. Breakfast in bed. Listen, Jeff T. You better read our contract again. There's nothing about breakfast in Lily's room. You know, you smoke too much. I know. So what? Nothing. This is the first time I ever did this for a girl. Thought you might like it. What you all dressed up for? I'm going hunting. Huh? That's, uh, that's what I came to tell you, Lily. I'll be gone most of the week. Come on, how about eating something? It's good for you. Yeah. So sleep. What time is it? Seven. Seven? I think you got a screw loose somewhere. Seven and I didn't sleep well. Oh, that feels good. Lily, we'll have a real party when I get back. I don't like parties. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something before I went away, but <laughs> now I don't know how. It's just that, well, you're not like any girl I've ever met before. I don't know how to handle it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it either. It's just that, well, you're different, that's all. Uh-huh, how different? Maybe I can prove it to you someday. Prove what? The difference. Ugh. Why didn't you tell me bowling could make you this sore, huh? Don't you like bowling either? No, not yet anyway. Maybe you'll learn. Uh-uh. Well, so long. Sorry I busted in on you. Oh, that's all right. Thanks for the breakfast. Hey. And the flowers. I could have said something about the flowers, couldn't I? Forget it. Bye. Hi. I've just been spoiling all your alleys for you. How'd you get in? Simple. I used to pick locks when I was a kid. Did I wake you up? Yeah. I'm sorry. Go on back to bed. Thanks.
Are you decent? Huh, nobody's ever accused me of it. I thought I'd dig us up some breakfast. Hey, that's a nice outfit. You better add to it before you go to church. <laughs> what have I done to deserve all this? Nothing. Which goes to prove what a nice kid I am. Oh, yeah, it smells good. Mmm, tastes good. Tell me, uh, what do you do around here on a Sunday? Go for boat ride, swimming. Oh, you got a boat? Jet teaser. Fine, that solves all our problems. No, it doesn't. Why not? Look, do we have to spoil this nice breakfast? What do you mean? You ever lived in a small town before? What's that got to do with it? What's wrong in going out on the lake in broad daylight? I think it's wonderful. And I'm going. But you're a Jeptes girl, so you're not going. Oh. What did the two of you do? Flip a coin and decide that? He set you up at the antlers. He's paying for it. <laughs> you got it all figured out, haven't you? You know something? You're stupid. Now, look. Doesn't it ever enter a man's head that a woman can do without him? Listen, all I wanted to do was just hang around with somebody on a dull Sunday. I get that low sometimes, so you just skip it. Hop in your little boat, paddle off. Me, I'll go back to the alley. Hey, late. I'll pick you up about 11, okay? Okay. I'll make some sandwiches. I'm good at that, too. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised at nothing. Better make plenty. I get awfully hungry. <laughs> I said to make plenty. Susie's always hungry. Yeah. You could figure it for a big appetite. Well, hello. This is a surprise. Hello, yourself. Hey, that's a nice outfit. Going somewhere? Oh, sharp, isn't she? Come on. It's all yours. Oh, thanks. Got your suit? What kind of suit? Swimming, you know. Splash, splash. We got ours under the rags. Oh, we going swimming? I thought you set the boat. Want me to run upstairs and get yours? No, haven't got one. Would you care to borrow one of mine? No, thanks. Don't think it'd fit. Anyway, I don't like swimming. Come on, girls. Too nice a day to argue. in the sand. You go build your own castle, kid. Hey! Hey! How is it on, eh? Oh. <laughs> well, two can play at that game. Oh! Oh! Fresh? Here. You Here you go. The what she did with a couple of half hitches. Can I have some fun, too? I thought you said you couldn't swim. Oh, I didn't say that, did I, Pete? Just said I didn't like swimming. That's all. 
Why don't I drown myself now that the water's handy? Huh? Don't trouble to get out. I don't know when I've had more fun. We must do it again soon. Next time, don't bother to dress. Just come as you are. Uh, you know something, Pete? What? Imagine bringing a girl all the way from Chicago to wear me out. There's only one kind of loving, one kind of kissing, the right kind. Oh, the right kind. There's only one kind loving that I've been missing the right kind I'm tired of too many guys with casual eyes I know their line from A to Z oh I want a man who is my kind of man daddy oh where can you be there's only one kind of heaven breakfast at seven the right kind right kind there's only one kind of living worth all the giving the right kind i got the word from my heart i heard from my heart and i find that we agree there's only one kind of loving the right kind of loving your kind my kind that's the kind of loving for me. Jack here that just loves that thick skull of yours. Thanks for coming. You're after whenever he shows up, call first. Don't wait. Okay. Pete, you all right? Yeah. Here, let me take care of you. No, it's okay. You're okay. Nice work. Really good. Pete. 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 Thanks. How do you feel? Oh, like I got a seagull with a broken wing in my head. <laughs> Mind if I go up and rest? No, go ahead. It's over. Okay. Hey, you know, you were terrific. Gee, Pete, you almost took that bottle neat. Well, let that be a lesson to you. Stay on the wagon. Oh, boy. You better get that fixed. Yeah. Come in. Uh, hi. How's everything? Okay. Yeah, let me look after that for you. No, that's okay. Fix you something, will you? Straight? Straight. 
Is everybody all right? Fine. Not me. I feel as though I'd fought the good fight myself. Can I join you? Sure. Here we are. Thank you. I think you're being paged, honey. My hero. Susie. Susie. Cash. Susie. Cash. It's the story of my life. Well. How did it start? Simple. Just came over, lifted me and the piano. Nothing to it. Competition. I guess my old man wanted me to sound like that. You say to me, Lil, someday you're gonna sing at the Met. Heavy opera. You call it heavy instead of grand. He played the foot organ. Won it in a poker game. But he'd say to me, Lil, you gotta practice. Study hard, day and night. So in the daytime, I worked in a factory. At night, I'd study practice while he played the foot organ. Not over the time I got good enough to sing Madame Butterfly, what do you know? I lost my voice. We're not kidding ourselves anymore, are we? What brought this on? It was worth it. Hiya, Skipper. Hi. How do you feel? I feel good. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing much. I was just thinking that all my life I've been on the go. Living with the smell of stale smoke, a lot of drunks breathing down my back. Always on my own. What about your old man? Oh, him? He was great. Only trouble was, when he was sober, he hardly recognized me. <laughs> but I loved him. Yeah, one day he blew. My mother died. I was alone. And a friend took care of me. I love you, Lynn. How long have you known Jeff T? Oh, way back before the war. Jeff T and I were pin boys together. Only Jeff T's father owned the place. Well, why did you come back here after the war? No ties. No Jeff T, the roadhouse. It was home, that's all. Are you gonna let him run your life always? Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> Jeff T needs to have somebody around. He he needs a friend. Nobody's all good. Nobody's all bad. I can never forget the look on his face when you said you wouldn't teach me to bowl. It's just as if he could have killed you. Nah. <laughs> He's just a spoiled guy. Is he? So am I, Pete. Oh. 
I want you to need me. Have you ever really wanted anything? I mean, I mean, besides Jeff T in the roadhouse. Yeah. And I've always wanted to own a fishing boat somewhere off the Portland coast. You know, it's cold up there. The wind bites your face. Fishing boat, bowling alley, sounds a long way off. Yeah, I bet you think I'm crazy. No. No, I don't. I'd like to be in on that fishing deal with you. Ten to one, I'll make a rotten sailor, though. I'll take that bet. Sorry, Mr. Robin, she doesn't answer. She doesn't? Well, uh, when she comes in, have her call me at my house right away, will you? Yes, sir. When did she go out? I don't think she came in at all to see me. Not while I was here. Okay, thanks. Just get back? Mm-hmm. Where's Lily? I don't know. Place is closed tonight. Monday, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. And you haven't seen her, huh? No. Pete and I were at the movies. You were? Did you get a moose? Mm-hmm. Three. One for each of us. Another year, another moose head in the bar, another Lily. When are you gonna grow up, Jeff? T? Well, I'm a big boy now. You drive him back to the place? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to Pete. Can I go with you? Sure, come on. I want to check up on something. Okay, slide in. Hey, baby. Jeffy's here. You took me to the movies tonight. We saw a western. Thanks, kid. I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, Jeff. Hi, kid. Good to see you. Hey, who told Sam to lock up? I've been drinking sherry. Dad. Take me upstairs and give me a drink, will you? Why don't you go up? My place is always open. Oh, I don't know. It must be too wacky to remember. Wacky about what? I'll tell you. How's Lily? Fine. You two still fighting? How's her bowling? No, we're not fighting. Any luck at the cabin? Yeah. But my mind wasn't on it. something to show you, Pete. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I did it. Did what? The last thing I ever thought I'd do. Well, it happens to everybody once, they say. I went away to make up my mind. And I did. What made you do it, Chip? I don't know. You love her? And all I know is she makes me think about things I used to laugh at. You didn't know I could feel that way, did you? Well, neither did I. But I'm tired of fooling around, Pete. Tired of living alone. I want... I want Lily. Anything wrong in that? That depends. Yeah, I know. It depends on the way I want it. Okay. I want to... I want to make things good for her. I want to take her out of dives. I want her for my wife. You seem awful sure she'll accept, Jeffy. Don't forget she's a funny girl, independent, 
Yeah, she's independent. But all gals want the same thing, Pete. A guy to take care of. I can take care of Lily. I want to. Where is she? Did she go out? With whom? <laughs> That's right, with whom. Well, I gotta hurry. I told her to call me when she came in. You better find yourself a gal, kid. You're next. Susie. Lily? Why didn't you call me? I've got news for you. I told you I'd prove how I felt about you. We're getting married. I've got the license right here in my pocket. Jeffy, you're kidding. You must be out of your mind. I... I never told you that... I knew you wouldn't believe it. Just a second, Jeffy. Yeah, go on. So, uh, I, I thought we'd take the boat and go up to the lake tomorrow. You know, a little celebration. We could have lunch at the Swedes. Sure, sure, okay. Hello. Hello. Lily. Operator. Operator? Miss Stevens hung up. Do you want me to call her back? No. One thrill at a time. Yes, but how can we tell him? It isn't that simple. I know Jeffy. He, he won't just smile and slap us on the back. Well, I've got to tell him, honey. A rotten job to tell your best friend you've cut him out. But you haven't, Pete. He has no right, no right at all. All I ever did was put him off from the beginning. Oh, baby. All my life I've been fighting for this. I don't want it to be spoiled. Let's pack and leave right now, huh? Oh, I can't do that, Lil. Don't worry. I'll go and tell him, and I'll be right back. Let me go with you. No, it's better alone. Pete. Be careful. I'll be back. Pete, go in there. Thanks. What's the matter? Uh, I've got to talk to you. Sure. I'm glad you woke me up. Every time I sleep on that thing, I get a bad back for a week. Cigarette? No, thanks. What's the trouble, kid? Well, this isn't easy, Jeff. D. I... Something happened while you were away that I... Never figured it would happen. I never wanted it to happen. Why, somebody offer you another job? I, I wish it were as simple as that. I'm in love with Lily, and she's in love with me. We're going to get married. I would have told you before, but... I hurry. I'm sorry, Jeff. Do you believe me? But Lily isn't just another girl for me. It's my life and hers. Jeff, do we know each other too well? Do I would... we? I don't know you. Get out. Get out of here. I don't want to see you. I don't want you around. It's her choice. Get out! Okay. Get out.
I get tickets to Chicago and we'll decide from there. Remember the last time we were here? I wouldn't even give you two bits to get out of town. Smart, wasn't it? That was a couple of hundred bucks smarter. Yeah. Pete, are you sorry about Jeff? Well, just that a guy likes to wind up a friendship with a handshake. Yeah. Are you Pete Morgan? Yeah. Can you come with us, please? You too, miss. Well, why? What's it about? Routine investigation. <laughs> What's all this about, Captain? Sit down. You too, Miss Stevens, is it? Mr. Robbins. Morgan, Mr. Robbins here claims that the week's receipts of his roadhouse were taken from his safe tonight. You were at that safe. Here's your note. I took $600 coming to me, that's all. I don't say that you took anything, Pete. All I know is that the week's receipt should have been there, and they're not. We bank tomorrow. How much money is there usually in the safe? I don't know. Pete and Susie handle the money. Pete! Lily, what happened? Miss Smith? Yes. Sit down. You're the cashier at Mr. Robbins' Roadhouse? That's right. How much money would you say was in the safe tonight? Well, the week's receipts, $2,600. We keep the overage and small bills in the bar. How do you know there was $2,600 in the safe? Because I checked the weekly receipts on Sunday and gave them to Pete, Mr. Morgan. You gave Mr. Morgan $2,600 in cash? Yes, in an envelope sealed with my name on it. What's wrong? Who else knows the combination of the safe? Only Pete and myself. You know I didn't take that money. Just a second, Morgan. You'll get a chance to speak. Miss Stevens, were you with Morgan at the roadhouse when he opened the safe? No. Pete's always been careful of the money. Just a moment, please. Did you take the rest, that 2,000? I told you, no. Mr. Robbins knows he hasn't. Where were you going when you were stopped? I don't know, Chicago first. Mr. Mr. Robbins had discharged you tonight? That's right. You plead innocent and can't produce the money? I don't plead anything. I'm telling you I didn't take that money. I took $600 coming to me and no more. I'll have to hold you, Morgan. Pete didn't take that money. Why, he wouldn't... This complaint doesn't name you, Miss Smith. Nor you, Miss Stevens. You're both free to go. All right, Morgan. Wait a minute. Jeffy, what good do you think this is going to do you? Pete! Don't just walk out and let him frame you. Don't, Pete. Tell him why he's doing it. You no good swine. You dirty little swine. You framed him. But you're not going to get away with it. That will do, Miss Stevens. What do you mean, that will do? Why don't you search him? You'd do anything, wouldn't you? Anything to get even with Pete. Take it easy, kid. You're upset. You don't know what you're saying. Don't give me that. You know what I'm saying. But you haven't worked out the finish yet, have you, Jeffy? You haven't worked out the end of it. And that's what's going to hurt. Hurt hard. Lily, honey, come on. The cops don't know. You're a bad loser. But I'll get a lawyer to fight you, Jeffy. I still can't believe it myself. You never know. Sure don't. Pete was my best friend. Oh, we had fights, sure, but it never came to anything like... like stealing. Maybe he was drunk, Captain. Did you check that? Mr. Robbins, I deal with situations exactly like this, day in and day out, five times every day. Thirty-five times a week. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you do.
Verdict awaited in roadhouse theft today. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. The jury finds the defendant guilty of grand larceny. Record the verdict. The court will pronounce sentence at two o'clock this afternoon. over, we came back home together. Home was the roadhouse. The only home Pete's ever known. I'm all the family you ever had. And what did I do for Pete? I had the money, he had nothing. I couldn't have run the place without Pete. Yet all I gave him was a salary and a small percentage. After 10 years. Don't you see, Judge, I should have had enough sense to know that there was, there was something burning inside of him. Well, he got to feeling worse and worse. Started drinking, taking my girls. You can't blame him. Then one night he gets drunk, decides to clean the safe. What about this girl, Miss Stevens? She's nothing to me. I haven't anything against Lily. What do you want, Mr. Robbins? I want you to give Pete a chance. Give me a chance to show him that I'm a decent guy. Parole him to me. It was your charge that put this man in jail. Yes, I know. I, I, I lost my head. I was hurt. But I was all wrong, Judge. I ask you to parole him to me. To order, please. Everybody rise. Be seated, please. Is the defendant ready for sentence? We're ready, Your Honor. Peter Morgan, for the crime of which you stand convicted, you are hereby sentenced to serve in the penitentiary of this state for a term of not less than two years, no more than ten years. Order. Sentence suspended. Under the following conditions. It is the duty of the law to temper justice with mercy when the situation warrants. The complainant, Mr. Robbins, has come forward with an unusual and most generous offer. It is Mr. Robbins' opinion, and the court, after listening to the evidence, concurs that the crime at worst was the impulse of a moment. The defendant has a clean record. He's a friend and employee of long standing of Mr. Robbins, who appealed to the court for mercy. The defendant is therefore put on probation in the care of Mr. Robbins for the period of his suspended sentence, two years. The normal conditions of probation will prevail if Morgan violates his probation, if he tries to leave the state or commits another crime, this court will sentence him to the limit of its power and remand him to the penitentiary for the full term of his sentence as provided by law. Mr. Robbins has agreed to restore Morgan to his old position. 
and deduct the amount of the theft in question over the period of probation. Court adjourned. A nice thing to do would be go over and shake hands with Robbins. Oh, you don't have to. He's coming over here. Come on, kid. We're going home. There the court! So that Jeff is a good egg down deep. He deserves it. Anybody can lose get over Gallic like Lily. Well, this guy, let's see, what was his name? Oh, yeah, Chubby, Chubby Shells. Well, Chubby gets sore and he decides to put a 50-buck bet on the strike. Well, he shoots and he leaves a pin. Of course, everybody yells. When all of a sudden, when the ball's dead and the frame is over, for no reason at all, the pin drops. What happened? <laughs> no kidding. What did Chubby... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell you. I found out about it afterwards. The pin boy had a piece of the 50-buck bet and he nudged it over. <laughs> did they let it ride? Why, well, sure. For 50 bucks, it was a sympathy stick. <laughs> Sonny, I'll take this. You relax. Oh, my golly. I'll never forget Mike Travis up at the cabin. Hey, Pete, remember the time we put that stuffed moose head up in the cabin in the bush and Mike kept shooting at it? <laughs> tell him about it. Oh, you tell him, Jeff, T. I need a refill. Okay. Well, How do you feel? We had this stuffed moose head in the I bush. I don't know yet. And Mike kept blazing away at it. But the moose head only nodded to him because we had it tied in with wire. <laughs> and the sore of Mike got the more the moose head. Oh, baby. I don't get it, Lil. Why did he do it? I don't know. There's something wrong about it, but I just don't know what. Well, maybe we're crazy, honey. Maybe the guys had a change of heart. Maybe a million things. But we're together. That's the main thing. I'd like to believe that. Well, that's what we're going to believe. And we'll get married. Will you marry a guy on probation? What do you think? Hi, kids. Having fun? Thought you were going to refill. <laughs> so I was. Swell party, huh? What a day. Perfect. Almost. Almost? Anything wrong? You got Pete free. Why don't you go the rest of the way and find the money? That's all it takes, Jeff D. I don't want a prison record. Kids, I wish I could. Jeff D., we've all done something one time or another we were ashamed of. You're no exception. To make it good, that's what counts. Forget it. You know you can. Cut it out, I say. Anyway, what difference does it make now? We're just one big happy family. Lily singing in the bar, Pete living upstairs, just the way it was. We're twins from now on, kid. Where I go, you go. And just suppose I was mean. Suppose you tried to marry Pete and leave town. Or suppose you got mad and tried to slug me. One word to the judge and that's all, brother. Ten years in the pen. <laughs> Whoa, what a setup. <laughs> hey, what's the big joke? Let me in on it. They'll tell you, they'll tell you all about it. What's the big deal? So that's what it was. That's what he planned all the time. <laughs> Someday I'll choke that laugh. Again, this couldn't happen again. This is that once in a lifetime. This is the thrill. That new stuff for the alleys is pool rooms coming in tomorrow. I think I'll get the place painted, do it up. In the meantime, we'll take a little vacation. My cabin. Lily, you and me. Something's wrong with Lily. Your voice doesn't sound the same. Susie, how'd you like to spend a few days at my cabin with 
Lily and Pete and me. I can't go, Jeff. Why not? I don't see any sense to it. You don't see any sense to it. I told you where I go, you've got to go. You're tied to me. How about you? Sure. Okay. We'll use my boat, climb to the cabin on the other side. You be at the dock at 8 tomorrow. Just arrange one for us to go away tomorrow. His cabin. You better go talk to Pete. He's upstairs. Don't let What's him. What's wrong? I don't know, but don't let him make a break. You're the only one that can stop him. Pete. Get your things packed. We're leaving. No, baby. We packed once before and went to get us. Look, I've had my stomach full. I'm going. Now you're coming with me or I'm going alone. Sure. Go on alone. Now look. The Canadian border is only 15 miles from here. Whatever happens is better than this. I tell you, Lil, if I stay here another day, I'll... Kill him, huh? That's great. So that's what you've been thinking about. Well, he could even make you do that to get back at you. Don't be a fool. He won't stop at anything. You're not making any sense. You're drunk. Either you're coming with me or shut up and get out. He don't know what I'm talking about. You're letting a crazy man like Jeffy ruin our lives. Leave me alone and get out. Sure. I'm sorry I left a good drink to come up here. You're not worth it. I hate you, Pete. I hate you for making me need your help. I was crazy for ever banking my life on you. Oh, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Sorry. You're right, Lil. This is what he wanted to make us hate each other. For me to make a break. Well, how cozy. What's the help doing now? It was like a morgue downstairs. I was bored. Really? So were the customers. Why don't you go down and make some noise? Try a little song. Pick up the grub from the kitchen and put it on the boat, will you? You like the way I'm stringing along, Jeff? Very nice, very nice. That's the way it's supposed to be, isn't it, kid? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing for sure, Jeffy. If I am stringing along, it's because I want to. And don't go too far, Jeffy. Don't go one inch too far. Because I may want to do something else. Susie, get me another bottle on the shelf, huh? Yes, sir, this is living. Real living. Didn't I tell you? Huh? <laughs> now you're talking, set it right down here. That's it, Susie. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's the matter? Nobody drinking but me? Come on, join the fun. Suckers. Hmm. Little Pete, Pete. I want you to see something. I want you to see something. I want you to take a look at this map. Yeah. Now you go through about a couple of miles of the prettiest woods you ever saw. Then two miles of peaceful river. And what do you got? Canada. It's even prettier over there. The smell of open fields and fl... By golly, I just remembered. I still got that little outboard motor on the river for fishing, remember, kid? Where are you going? Outside, get some air. 
Okay, let's all go out. How's the mood? Beautiful. Let's do a little shooting. You ever see me shoot? I'm good. Very good. You don't want to shoot now, Jeff D. You're better at talking. Why don't you tell us the story of your life? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That moon's too good. Can't miss a shot. Remember, baby, I promised to teach you? Never mind that. Okay, beautiful. On second thoughts, you wouldn't like Canada anyway. Not enough to spend the rest of your life there. Not even if they let you. Not even with Pete. Lay off, will you, Jeffy? Have a heart or give us a rest. No, Susie, you shouldn't talk that way to me. Everybody out. Jeffy's going to shoot. Come on, outside. You stand over there. Hey, Pete, how much did we pay for this tomato juice? Well, it's gone now. Too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. Hey! 50 feet, 50 feet. I won't miss it. I'm the best shot in the world. <laughs> and when I get drunk, I'm a better shot. I'm a better shot. <laughs> the drunker I am, the better I get. Now, you just get a load of this. Watch it. Now, just, just imagine that's a little duck up there. A tiny little duck waiting for its mama. <laughs> Thought I was kidding, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> well, now you know. That was a good shot. Pretty good shot. Oh, that looks like blood. Blood, huh? Blood. Yeah, we better try something else. You see, what do we try? What do we try? Ah, my hat. Here, hold this. I'll buy myself a new one. We'll put the hat upon the branch like this. Ah. This is bigger, but it's tougher. Pretty hard to see. Go on, try it. See if you can hit it. Go ahead, baby. Try it. That's it. Go on, take a crack at it. Over. Over more. Over more. No, over. <laughs> Over! <laughs> What's the matter? Couldn't you see it? Huh? <laughs> What'd you grab it for? There wasn't anything in it. Do you think I'd be silly enough to give her a loaded gun? <laughs> Let us go back, Jetty, or I swear I'll kill you. Kill me? You'd kill me, baby? If I get the chance. Please, Jeff D., let us go back. Let us go back. You know, it just comes to me. I think you would like to kill me. <laughs> oh, what a great couple you make. A thief and a murderer. A thief? What did you do with the money? Buy the jury? It costs a lot to frame your best friend, doesn't it? You no good, dirty little... Shut up! I won't! You stole the money and you know it. You know it! And you know something else, Jeffy? Your mind's gone. You're crazy, Jeffy. Crazy! Crazy! Oh. 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 You go to the pen where you blow.
What's the answer now? Uh, make a break. Ground fog's rolling in now. Get over the border, okay? Yeah, I'll go with you. Oh, don't do it. Use your heads. That's what I'm doing. It's all over now. Look, I can swear he hit you first. What could life do? Come on. <clears throat> don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. I don't care anymore. Even if we're caught, brought back, it's better this way. It's a chance. What chance will you have if they bring you back? Now, wait a minute. Watch it Okay. There. Now get rid of the other gun and the brush. Come on, let's go. Not me. You don't want any excess baggage where you're going. Oh, but Susie, you can't stay here with him. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to stay. Kids, you get going now. Thanks for everything. <clears throat> You've been swell. Good luck to you, Lil. You got a wonderful guy. Susie, you've been... Go on if you're going. So long, Susie. Goodbye. I will. Better let me go first. Stay right behind me. Yeah. There's a kind of path here if we can hold it. Don't worry about me. Keep going fast as you can. Gone. Where? Don't bother. He broke your other little toy. You're stuck without a gun, mister. Where'd they go? I don't know. Don't fly on me. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? That gun won't do you any good. They've got a long head start. I know these woods like a book. Even if you catch them, it won't do any good. You'll be the one who goes to jail, not Pete. There's the proof. Give me that envelope or I'll kill you. Susie, come back here! Come back! Yeah. Can you keep on? Sure. Wait a minute. 
What is it? Could be Jeffy. What do you think he could possibly? Yeah, he figured we make for the boat. Let him come. Maybe he found the gun in the brush, huh? Maybe. Listen, he's trying to cut us off. We'd better hurry. He gets to the river before we do. We're finished. Okay, let's go. There it is, the boat. He's coming. Here's the envelope, the proof. Jeffy's not coming. He's here. Susie, are you hit? Just my arm. Get going. Keep talking, Susie. It helps. Unhitch it. You won't get very far without that engine. Paddle in. I'll help put your fire out. <laughs> I'll put all your fires out. <laughs> all right, I'll take that envelope. Give me that envelope. Jeffy, you can't, Lily. Oh, don't, Jeffy. Don't come any nearer. Don't. Give me the gun. No. Give it to me. No. Jeffy, stay away. Stay away or I swear I'll shoot you. Don't you understand? Please, I don't want to. Give it to me. Keep away from me, Jeffy. Please keep away. Keep away. Keep away. <laughs> Oh, she was different. Oh. 
and send back for him. Thanks, Pete. I'm pretty heavy. I guess it couldn't be helped. It was always Jeff T or us. Yeah. Come on, Lily. 